Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Chicken Police episode and um, yeah, so we left off um, in the Zar Club and um, we are about to interrogate Ibn and um, yeah, I'm excited what uh, we will find out and if we meet Natasha there and um, yeah, let's, let's just jump right, right in. So, this guy is certainly not a gangster henchman. Of course he's not. Where do you see that? Okay, let's that? look. Yes, it is. The great Ibn Wessler in the flesh. So much for our incognito. Uh -huh. You think he noticed us? Only if he's not entirely blind. I mean, we were like really popular like 10 years. I don't think they forgot us. <laughs> that woman with Ibn. I think I know her from somewhere. Maybe in your dreams, pal. <laughs> Can we directly speak to Ibn? I think we have to. Just act nonchalant, my friend. Okay. No, it can't be. What now? Is that Olivia? No, Marty. Hey, uh, Olivia. Are you talking to me? It's me, Marty McChicken. Please don't hit on her. Please don't. Oh, God. What a pleasant surprise. The roast the coppers in person. <laughs> Chicken police. But yeah, Mr. Wessler, you could say so. The name's... Sunny Featherlands, of course, of course. Chicken police. Your partner is, uh, he is, uh... Marty McChicken, sir. I, I just introduced myself to your lady companion seconds ago. Oh. oh, yeah. I'm so happy to see you. Hello, boys. So, to what do we all be She said hello, boys, and then we get new information. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> we, we were um, just in the neighborhood and. Cut the crap, Marty. All right, we're here for your sweetheart, Natasha. Oh, I see. No big deal. Just a blackmail thing. You know, horrifying threats written on the wall with blood red paint. <coughs> the usual stuff. You must be familiar with this kind of thing. Oh, yeah, indeed. It's a uh, nasty business. But I didn't know Natasha hired a detective because of this simple matter. But to be honest, I understand. I would have taken matters into my own hands, you see. But I'm kind of busy. Mr. Wessler had a meeting with Attorney General Hamtaro yesterday, so he's rather tired. If you would excuse us. Hamtaro is... Is he a hamster? Please let him be a hamster. Oh, dear Olivia, it's okay. These gentlemen are just doing their job, right? And if yeah. I said correctly, they're notoriously thorough. So, how can I help you? Oh, We've got thanks for the cooperation. I'm at your service. Okay. Can you function ask? Okay, let's just read about her. I'm always so curious. There's a crow. Crow? Crow. Usually tall and slim for a crow. Unusually, sorry. Tall and slim for a crow. She's quiet and mysterious. Olivia is currently Ibn, Ibn Wessler's assistant and escort. Okay, finding out whether there's anything other than working relationship between Mrs. Uh, Miss Crow and Mr. Red could be could prove valuable. Huh? Oh, I think we... Okay, we missed on that. Okay, ask him about something. Let's start light. Everybody knows Mr. Hayworth. He's an antique piece of furniture in this city, oh. so to speak. Only a bit worn out. It's not my fault that he's so much in debt, detective. But the name of his family still rings quite loud in Clawville. Is that still worth anything? The name is just their name, of course. But the man behind the name is another matter, Mr. Featherland. You're a pragmatic rat. <laughs> Thank you. Nice exactly. bunker you got here. Well, thank you. But it's not mine. Not anymore. But I'm sure you already know that. <laughs> Listen, detective. If you want to know something, please ask straight, huh? All okay. right, Mr. Wessler, let's make this a bit more professional. 
Okay. Has your assistant been working for you long? Are you talking about me? Yes. Yes, I'm talking about you, ma'am. Let me answer your question then. I've been in Mr. Wesley's employment for six months. Why do you ask? Oh, just uh, routine questioning. You know, most of them aren't good for anything. Just killing time. No. It sounded rude to me. Yeah, please forgive a detective. Olivia's a real firecracker. Hmm. <laughs> Let's ask him about the himself. People tend to believe. I grew up in a poor family of many siblings. I'm the only one still alive, unfortunately. My career started with the shoe store, and now, here I am. I wouldn't call that an average life. Shoe store owner to mob boss. How dare you speak to Mr. Wessler like that? Leave it, Olivia, dear. It's just provocation. I'm sorry if I offended you, Mr. Wessler. Shall we talk about something else? Look, so. detective. If you want to know something, just ask. All right, Mr. Wessler. I missed the interrogation thingy here. Okay, let's do that, and then we make a cut there. Question him. Wessler is a tricky guy. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about him, so I have to be cunning. I can't just pin him against a wall yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Focus. Wessler's a tricky guy. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about him. Oh, okay. That's what he. Okay. How did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? Honestly, I found it ridiculous. And now? Now I'm kind of interested. But I wouldn't call it blackmail yet. They're just empty threats. There were no demands. Mm -hmm. Good point. Okay. Thank you. Are we done? No, no sir. Not quite. I'm sorry to hear that. No. I think we should be very straight. Why didn't you, should, why didn't you just call the police? Uh, just making sure my picture is not over the text again you seem a busy man may i ask you what you do i mean like a gangster uh asking why he didn't call the police is just has no point but this is like mm, uh, he wouldn't reveal his business so i'm why just gonna just call the police? go with huh? that why what would have been the use of that a few messages aren't enough for a case. You should know that. So he kind of plays it down. Harassment makes for a case. So do threats. Who were you trying to convince, Sonny? Huh? They would have laughed in my face. Anyway, you know, the police station. Once I set foot in there, nah, I'm not coming out again. So I thought. Your lawyers are too good for that, even. I mean, it's trouble anyway, yeah, so. I guess you're right, chicken. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Good. Okay. Do you really think we're that stupid? Why would anyone have reason to plague my girlfriend? <sighs> Mistrustful, secretive, tricky. Okay, I think we should like you know Do you really think we're that stupid? Get on his level. What? I'm sorry. I don't shit, know what I think that was not good. And try to make us believe you don't care about the threats. But from my experience, mm. that kind of behavior has guilt stamped all over it. Maybe he wants the saw club back. Yeah. Maybe it's that. I don't have to listen to this anymore. Oh, I shit. Hope you don't take offense, but get the hell out of the club while I'm asking nicely. Shit. Easy, Wessler. Let's talk about something else. I'd be very happy about that. Oh. <laughs> Why would okay. anyone have reason to blackmail your girlfriend? I don't know, uh, maybe because she's my girlfriend? Yeah, I mean, he could pay. You think that's enough? It's plenty enough. Good point. Oh, are you finally getting to a point? Or do you really want to dig around in my private life? Because, uh, people who do that end up in the alley, if you catch my drift. Very hmm. much so, Mr. Wessler. Wessler is tougher than I thought, and he's secretive. 
It's time to gently beat around the bush. Mm. Are you Natasha Close? I mean, she's his girlfriend. And then is Simia Re Ah, Natasha Close. <sighs> I, I think we should Were ask about the past. I mean, oh, sorry. Threats, blackmail, enemies are insane fans. Psychopath pianists, perhaps. Maybe he doesn't know. Oh, I don't know about enemies, but she's a celebrity. A star shining bright in Clawville's night sky. Do you understand? She gets endless fan mail. It could be anybody. Well, I wouldn't overreact. Natasha doesn't feel that way. I've noticed. Hmm. Start talking straight, but there's no point in wasting each other's, other's time. Uh, we should be more gentle. Is everything alright between you and Natasha? Do you think one of her fans is the culprit? Uh, I'm gonna is go for that. All right between you and Natasha? Yeah, you don't beat around the bush, do you? <laughs> but I wanted to. Yes. Naturally, our relationship is stable and perfect. I'm the setting, she's a gemstone. If you know what I mean. I rarely hear such poetry, but uh, I understand exactly what you mean, Mr. Wesler. Autoplay? Huh. So, you have your answer. No ah, recent friction. Nice. Hm. Wouldn't you like to know? It would make my job easier. Yeah, it would only lead you astray. So be glad that I tell you no. No friction. Oh, we Given lost him. Is quick tempered. And I can use that to my advantage. I've confounded and softened him with my previous questions. Now it's time to be specific and ruthless. Oh, we gained some points. Um, okay. I think that makes no sense to lure him into the station. The mob boss and the pussycat, eh? How did you even meet? Huh? Mm. Are you trying to piss me off, Corpora, so I accidentally let some big secret slip out? Huh? <laughs> yeah. A simple answer would work. <sighs> you know, Natasha, she's both connoisseur and muse. Uh, uh, so, uh, how was it? Uh, well, when was it exactly? You don't remember? That's strange. Ah, yeah. The millions, of course. It was like another lifetime. It happened right here. Only this place was called the millions back then. Mm -hmm. He was a dancer. Behind the scenes, I arranged opportunities for her on the big stage. Yeah, maybe she still doesn't know it was me. Then one day, I invited her for a drink with the promise that if she was willing to meet me, I'd buy the place for her. Okay. I guess she was willing. The next day, she had the club in her name. Well, that is romantic. Yeah, there are many kinds of romance, Birdman. There's cheap and there's expensive. You keep what you can afford. Mm, okay, we just have this one Do option here. you live in the same house as Natasha? Oh, you're really something. Natasha's a free woman, but mostly, yeah, at my place in Gold Town. But she has a whole kind of a weekend house. Mm. How often does she use the weekend house? Yeah, every other weekend, roughly. I see. That's very important information. Yeah, if you say so. Mm, okay. So Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet you, she's still going out alone. She completely wrong when she's there at the week at the weekend. <coughs> Hmm. I'm gonna go. So gonna go for that. Like she's in grave danger, yet she's still going out alone. Yeah, I know what you're getting at, but I'm a hundred percent sure of her loyalty. Mm. She's gone out very rarely since this started, and mostly in my company. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if you do, but uh, in our social circles. Banquets and dinners are frequent. Every time I pick a question, I 
like immediately regret it after his like first sentence. <laughs> mm, illegal gambling night. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah, you're right. Natasha is crazy about the roulette wheel. Mm -hmm. Always putting it all on the red, right? Yeah, you're a real rotten bastard, Sonny. Although, yeah, always on the red. Yeah, right. So, okay. can I meet your lady? Mm. <gasps> huh. I'm just trying very hard to change the subject when it comes to the threats. He obviously knows more than he's willing to tell. Not bad, but not okay either. It's okay for a rookie, but you can't do better. Next time, pull yourself together and pay attention to the science focus, Sunny. So, I don't know if we should retry this. I think we can't get any more out of him. I mean, it wasn't that bad, so. I think we just continue with this because we fucked up, so yeah. Thank you for your time. We'll be seeing you. I have no doubt about that, unfortunately. Hey, uh, we should uh, grab a coffee or something, Olivia. <laughs> you know, for old time's sake. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Goodbye. Mm. Please, oh. take a seat. The show's gonna start soon. Okay, I just... <sighs> this cutscene and then we we make a cut. There she is. Oh, some color. What's happening with us here? So we are quite that mesmerized unique. by her. Oh, oh I like the sparkle. Nice. <laughs> Nobody has ever given me such a unique compliment before. Uh, forgive me, my name is Santino Featherland. <laughs> I thought so. You look more or less like I imagined. More or less? Sometimes less is more, Mr. Featherland. <clears throat> You were amazing, dear, as always. Could you be my little furball and fetch me a cocktail? But of course. Eben will be back soon. We'll have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. <laughs> With okay. all respect, ma'am, we're not that easy to get rid of. Doesn't matter who's trying, believe me. <sighs> Doesn't matter, he'll do it. That's why I'm telling you. I don't want a scene. My room's upstairs. Meet me there in 20 minutes. Come alone, Sonny. You'd be too conspicuous otherwise. Mm, okay. I understand. You know, they call him Target Marty at the station. I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Oh, sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another three. I'll be Okay. Waiting. Go. Before he comes back. So that's it. So that's it for this. So that's it for this episode here. And um, 
we will have uh, upstairs to Natasha's room um, the next episode and we will find out hopefully find out more about the case and get some juicy details and uh, let's yeah let's get this investigation started because till now we don't like exactly know what we're going to do we know about the threats and um, yeah only a bit about the 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 shady side of Crowell and um, yeah let's find out more in the next episode I will be glad if you join me then um, until then bye <laughs>